can you tell me if this collage is 2D or 3D? It is 2D, it's two dimensional. We can measure the height and we can measure the length. This is not my artwork, this is a Dyer student's artwork and she made this two dimensional collage. This week, we are going to make an artwork that is three dimensional. So, I got a new piece of paper. I am going to write my name. And you might want to write 3D up at the top. So we're going to make an artwork that comes out from our paper to make it three dimensional. So you're going to first pick four colors of paper that you want to use, four strips. We're using the same strips that we used last time, but this week we're going to make it three dimensional. Now, I want to make this pop out three dimensionally, so I need to glue it down in a way that it can come out from the paper. It would be really tricky to glue that little edge, so I need to fold it to make a foot. Just like, can you imagine standing on your legs without feet? That would be really tricky. So we need to fold it to make little feet for the ends of our paper strip fold it to make a little foot. Now this has a little foot. I'm going to be able to glue the feet down so that my paper strip comes out three-dimensionally. So I'm going to take my magic glue bottle, which has the push down here, and I am going to push this down into the table so the glue comes out. And again, some of these bottles have little dried glue on the top, so you just have to peel off the dried glue and then I'm pushing this push down button down into the paper and the table and the glue will come out. This bottle is called a tap and glue. So you're really just tapping so the button goes in and then the glue comes out. Now, if I just stick this foot onto the glue, it might not stick right away. So what I wanna do is push in and I'm gonna count in a really silly way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now I'm going to decide how high up do I want this to come. Do I want it to be like that? Do I want to spread out? Right to there. So I'm going to tap and glue. Push in the push down button. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Wow, look at that. That is 3D. All right, I'm gonna do another one. This yellow strip, I'm going to do diagonal lines to about, actually, I'm gonna go all the way for this one. All the way across, I need to make my feet fold, fold, this one I'm going to do something a little bit different. I think I'm going to have this one go underneath, kind of like a bridge. Tap down so the glue comes out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And now I'm going to twist my paper like that. Look at that spirally line. And I'm gonna glue the other one here. Tap and glue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Wow. Kindergartners, 3D artwork that is three dimensional are sculptures. So you are creating a paper sculpture. They are three-dimensional. Another word for artwork that is three-dimensional is that it has form. And I will show you the hand motion for form right now. Forms are 3D. So we are creating a paper form sculpture. So you're going to add, continue adding paper strips, deciding what kind of line to draw, 
trimming it wherever you would like, making the feet and gluing it down, and be as inventive as you want. You could glue it together to make a circle that comes straight out. You could um, have these go underneath and over and wrap around. That would work too. You're gonna decide. At the end, you might have created a little amusement park or roller coaster for an imaginary ladybug who could travel along your roller coaster ride. So you might have fun thinking about this as an amusement park for a ladybug. And you can compare your two-dimensional collage with your three-dimensional sculpture.